Hello guys, I'm Officer Cadet Tiu Yutong. I'm a trainee here at UV Training School and join me on today's episode of Welcome to My Squadron. Okay, so welcome to the UTS Heritage Corner. So this is actually our UTS logo. So fun fact, UTS was formed in 1st July 1998 and we undertook the task of conducting all courses related to the UAV. So as for our motto, it is to redefine perfection. So that means we strive for the highest level of perfection. As for our UTS mission, UTS mission is to be an elite training school producing competent UAV professionals with strong core values as well as fundamentals. Okay, so now that you know a bit more about UTS, let me bring you through a day in my life as a trainee. First, we start off at the briefing room where our ops brief and our sortie briefs are conducted. So let me take you through our sortie brief. Flying crew will be present and important information regarding the various flying methods and objectives will be discussed. Daily operations brief, also known as ops brief, will be conducted here too, where all squadron members are kept up to date with squadron taskings, targets and all matters with regards to our operations. So through these briefs, trainees don't just learn how to conduct proper flying briefs, but we also hone our presentation abilities, which is essential as a leader. After our sortie brief and prior to our flight, we must conduct a pre-flight brief with our instructors. So follow me for my pre-flight brief now. Together with me, I have Captain Zilla Corsine Ignite and he's the instructor taking me for flight today. In a pre-flight brief, the instructors would typically run through the requirements of the sortie and quiz trainees on the prerequisite knowledge for the flight. So this is also a chance for trainees to clear up any doubts prior to flying. We would come to the ops room, check for any updates to our flight before packing our flight bag with the necessary materials and equipment. So this includes items such as our flight reference card as well as our headsets. So here we are at the hangars beside the Heron 1 UAV. Now we're about to do the final walk around checks to ensure aircraft is working fine before we take off. Now that we've completed our walk around checks, come join me in our ground control station for my sortie. So I've completed my flights for today. Let's go to the study room and study for my flights for tomorrow. Now I'm preparing and reviewing our plans for the next sortie alongside my course mate. And other than studying, so actually UTS is not merely a flight school, UTS is also a training school to train cadets to be eventually commissioned and become officers of the RSF. So UTS conducts drills to instill the value of discipline and maintain our soldiering fundamentals. And there's also physical training to help us build our fortitude to overcome adversities while staying fit to serve. Alright, so now we're in the crew room with uh, Captain Zile here and we'll be doing a quick Q&A session. Hi, so I'm uh, Captain Ong Zile, um, Corsair Ignite and I'm actually the unit safety officer as well as a qualified UAV instructor here at UAV Training School. I'll say the best experience I have over here at UTS really is uh, getting to interact and work with the trainees. I think one of the most memorable experiences I actually had was attending the first commissioning parades with my trainees uh, and getting to see them succeed when they were down on the parade square and their parents actually don the ranks for them. And it really shows the type of relationship that we instructors have with the trainees, uh, working together with you all, trying to see how we can help you overcome uh, your challenges and eventually getting to don the wing and the ranks. I think seeing that it's tough is, is definitely, it will definitely be tough. Uh. So there's a lot of challenges that we face as trainees and there's the demands to grasp certain knowledge as well as skills and our duties uh, relatively quickly. Uh. But there's definitely a lot of resources provided to us. So our first and most direct source of information and help is also the instructors. So a lot of the instructors will spend their time and they are actually very open about helping us clear up any of our doubts and anything 
any questions that we have prior to our flight or anytime in UTS. Another like strong support that we have is also through our course mates. So actually throughout this course, my course mates and I has been uh, have been supporting each other. We study together, we go through all the ups and downs together. So we forge very strong bonds. And so that's what has gotten me through uh, this course also. So beyond that, deeper than that is actually uh, my support and my friends and family. Uh. So I want to do this job. It's kind of cliche, but this job is um, I'm directly contributing to the defense of Singapore. And every time I take off, I launch, then I get a bird's eye view of the entire nation under, uh, under my aircraft. You know, it fills me with a sense of pride and satisfaction that I'm protecting all these people. So I hope you will learn more about what we do here in UTS as a trainee. So for those interested in pursuing a career as a UAV pilot, I hope to see you here.